Have you ever felt like the best creative tools are locked behind expensive paywalls? Well, the game might be changing right now. The folks over at Alibaba have just dropped a brand new open source image editing model called QN Image Edit 2509, and they're claiming it's a massive improvement that can go toe to toe with the big guns. I was so impressed by what I saw that I knew I had to put it to the test. So today, we're staging an epic showdown. In one corner, we have the new free and open source QN Image Edit 2509. And in the other corners, we have three of the most hyped closed source models on the market. The evergreen and powerful Flux Context, the much talked about Nano Banana, and Sea Dream 4.0 from ByteDance. We're going to give all four of these models the exact same prompts and see who comes out on top. I have a feeling the era of open source is finally here, and the days of closed source models might just be numbered. First up, a classic challenge, image restoration. I'm using this incredibly damaged old photo. It's in terrible condition with scratches and fading, so the AI will have to do a lot of guesswork. We can barely make out a woman holding a child with a man next to them. My prompt is, restore and colorize this image. Remove any scratches or imperfections. Qwin's result is okay. It's similar to the original, but the faces, especially the man's, seem a bit off. Flux Context, on the other hand, did an amazing job. It's very impressive and looks quite similar to what the original might have been. Nano Banana's attempt was a little strange. It turned both of the adults into women. Sea Dream's result was also very close, maybe even closer than Flux's, but there was a weird issue with the hands. For this round, with so much guesswork involved, I have to give the win to Flux Context with Sea Dream as a close second. Next, let's try a really complex pose change. I've got an image of a woman lifting her skirt and looking forward, and the prompt is, generate the back view of the person in this photo. This is a tough one. Qwin's generation isn't perfect, but honestly, no model has nailed this yet. Flux Frontex also gave it a shot, and while it is a back view, it's not quite right. Nano Banana was completely useless here, making her dress comically large. Sea Dream also struggled producing a result with some noticeable issues. In the end, all four models pretty much failed this test. No clear winner here. Let's try a simpler pose change. The input is a photo of a young woman, and the prompt is, put her in a thinker pose. Qwin's result is fantastic. It genuinely looks like she's in deep thought, a proper thinker pose. Flux Context also delivered a thinker pose, but I was a bit more impressed with Qwin's. Nano Banana's version is also excellent. You can clearly see the girl is pondering something. And Sea Dream's result is another great generation. What's really impressive is that the facial accuracy on all four is spot on. They all perfectly maintain the original face. Honestly, it's difficult for me to choose a winner here. They're all just that good. All right, let's stick with pose changes. I'm using my usual test model for this one. And the prompt is, put her in a mid-air jump celebrating pose. Qwin's result is incredibly impressive. She's jumping, she looks like she's celebrating, and the face is perfectly consistent with the reference image. Flux Context produced a similarly perfect result with an amazing face match and a great celebratory jump. Nano Banana's version is also fantastic. She's got some serious airtime, and the facial consistency is a perfect match. Finally, Sea Dream also delivered a flawless, impressive result. I really can't pick a winner here. You can see for yourselves, all four of these are absolutely perfect. Now for a celebrity test. Using the same model's photo, I prompted, she's having fun at the beach with Donald Trump. Qwin got a little confused here. Instead of adding Donald Trump, it changed the model's face and hair to make her look like Donald Trump. Flux Context result gave us what looks like a Chinese version of Donald Trump. It's similar, but not quite right. Still, it's the best result so far because Nano Banana and Sea Dream both failed completely, giving an error and refusing to generate the image. So for this round, Flux Context is the winner by default. Let's try another celebrity prompt, but this time I'll provide a reference image. I'm giving the AI a picture of my model and a picture of Elon Musk with the prompt, place the couple in Paris at night sitting on a bench near the Eiffel Tower. QN failed this one, likely due to censorship on the free web version I'm using. The open source version probably would have worked. 
Flux Context gave a pretty impressive result, but Elon's body size looks a bit too large and it slightly changed my model's face, so it's not perfect. Nano Banana also failed to generate anything. Seadrium, however, produced a very realistic and nice looking image from a distance. The scene is perfect, but zooming in reveals flaws in both of their eyes. Still, if I had to choose, Seadream is the winner here as those issues could likely be fixed with a simple upscale. Let's run that test back, but this time, instead of Elon Musk, I'll use a picture of my Bigfoot character. The prompt is the same. Place the couple in Paris at night, sitting on a bench near the Eiffel Tower. Q and failed again. Flux context result is quite impressive. Our model's face is a bit changed, but Bigfoot looks great against a blurred Eiffel Tower background. Nano Banana's attempt was okay, but it changed both the model and the Bigfoot character. Sea Dream's generation was quite good, with both characters looking very similar to the source images, but it randomly added a couple of tattoos to our model's arms. I'll call this one a tie between Flux context and Sea Dream. Okay. For the next test, I'm bringing back my Bigfoot character. I gave the models his picture, and the prompt, Bigfoot is holding a salmon standing in a river. Let's see how they did. Kewen's result is quite good and impressive. Bigfoot doesn't look super realistic, but that salmon he's holding is huge, fresh, and looks delicious. Flux Context delivered a slightly improved version, making the Bigfoot character look a bit more realistic, and the salmon looks great too. It's a very solid generation. The result from Nano Banana was not as impressive, it strayed from realism and looked more like an art piece or a painting. But the generation from Sea Dream, this one blew me away. It looks incredibly realistic with no obvious flaws. The Bigfoot character looks perfect, the background is photorealistic, and the salmon is spot on. For this round, Sea Dream is the definite winner with Flux Context taking a respectable second place. So you know how in the world of AI, things move at lightning speed? Well, I've been checking out a new tool that's a perfect example of that, and it solves a problem I think a lot of us have, getting a decent professional headshot. Forget booking expensive photographers. A platform called AIEs just dropped their new AI Headshot Generator Pro, and it's pretty wild. They're talking over 10,000 different outfits to choose from, which is insane. So, of course, I had to take it for a spin. The process is super quick. You jump in. Pick a gender, male, female, or non-binary options are there. Then select a body type, like athletic, slim, or regular. From there, it's all about the style. You can dive into categories like business professional or smart casual, or if you're in a hurry, just hit a preset for something like a LinkedIn profile. I just selected everything to see what it could do. Same for backgrounds. You've got office, studio, outdoor. Just tick the boxes for what you want. Then comes the AI magic. You upload one, and only one, good selfie. They have some basic rules, clear face, no sunglasses, no silly faces, you get the idea. I uploaded a pic, the AI instantly analyzed it and locked onto the face. Now let's talk about the cost, because that's where it gets interesting. You can get a batch of 120 headshots for around 20 bucks, which works out to be like 16 cents per photo. That is ridiculously cheap. Plus, they have a full satisfaction guarantee. If you don't like the results, you can either redo them or just get a 100% refund. There's literally no risk. I hit the button, and a little while later, my headshots are ready. And honestly, the results are impressive. Check these out. The AI generated dozens of options with different outfits, different backgrounds, from casual looks to super corporate. But the most important part? The face is perfectly consistent across every single image. No weird artifacts, no wonky eyes, just clean, professional-looking headshots. Look at this one with the office background, and then this one that's more casual. It's the same person, just in a completely different vibe. For anyone needing to upgrade their professional profile without the hassle and cost of a real photo shoot, this is a game-changer. I'll drop the link to AIEs down below for you to check out. Seriously, give it a look. Okay. For our next test, I'm using an image of a woman with dots on her face, and the prompt is, give the person a short textured pixie cut, short on the sides, longer on the top. Kewen's result is a beautiful picture, but I don't think that's a pixie cut. 
What do you think? Flux Context, however, absolutely nailed it. The cut is a proper pixie cut and the facial accuracy is super high. Nano Banana's result is also very impressive with an almost identical face match. Sea Dream's attempt is good, but it changed her hair from reddish brown to black. So for this one, Flux Context and Nano Banana are the clear leaders. Okay, let's try adding an object. I've uploaded the same girl's image along with a picture of a cowboy hat. The prompt is simple. Make the person wear this hat. Kewen's result looks a bit unrealistic, like the hat was just pasted on top. Flux context, however, is very impressive. It looks exactly like she's wearing it, and the face is a perfect match. Nano Banana also gave a perfect result. And Sea Dream's result is 100% correct with no issues. So Kewen fell a bit behind here, but the other three models produced flawless results. Now for a really tough emotion prompt. Using the same girl, the prompt is, show that the person is extremely sad. Make their eyes fill up with tears. Kewen's result went in a comical direction. It looks less like tears and more like something was splashed on her face. Flux's generation is similar. It doesn't look like she's sad at all. But Nano Banana's result, I really like this one. The girl genuinely looks sad with tears flowing from her eyes. It's a perfect result. Sea Dream also did a fantastic job creating a feeling of true suffering with an exact facial match. Both Sea Dream and Nano Banana were perfect here, but I'd give the number one spot to Nano Banana. Let's try another expression. Give the person a shocked expression, mouth wide open. Kewen's result is great. She looks genuinely shocked and the facial similarity is perfect. Flux's result looks more like an expression of pain, so I wasn't too impressed. Nano Banana gave us more of a happy shock, like a pleasant surprise, which is quite good, and Sea Dreams looks like a mischievous shock or a playful shock. It's interesting to see the different interpretations here, but Kewen's was the most straightforward and accurate. Next up, changing the weather. Using a picture of my model at the beach, I prompted change the weather to a snowy day in winter. Kewen's result is very impressive, with snow on her hair, body, and even the balloons. It's a great generation. Flux's result is a bit over the top. She's absolutely covered in snow, making it look unrealistic. Now, Nano Banana did something very intelligent. It not only added snow, but it also changed her clothes to a winter jersey and coat, even adding a hat. The face is slightly different, but it's a very smart interpretation. Sea Dream's result is more subtle, with a light dusting of snow. If we're judging by who kept the original outfit, Kewen is the winner, but Nano Banana's intelligent approach was excellent. Next, how about a style change? The prompt is, turn this image into the style of a sketched charcoal drawing. Quen's result is incredibly impressive. It looks exactly like a charcoal sketch, and even maintained the background beach details in the same style. Flux Context also created a very good charcoal drawing, but it removed the background entirely. Nano Banana's generation doesn't quite look like a sketch. It's more like a black and white photo with some effects. Sea Dream didn't really deliver a sketch at all as it kept the red color of her dress. In this matchup, Quen is number one with Flux at a close second. Let's try another style. Change this image to have the style of Studio Ghibli animation. Quen's result is amazing perfectly converting the image into the Ghibli style. Crucially, it even kept the tattoos on her arm from the original photo. Flux also did a good job with the style, but it missed the tattoo. Nano Banana's result doesn't really look like Studio Ghibli. It's stuck somewhere between realistic and animated. Sea Dreams is quite good, but just like Flux, it forgot the tattoo. Once again, Quen is the clear winner for preserving that key detail. All right, let's turn our model into a statue. The prompt is, transform this image into a marble statue. Quen's result is fantastic with the characteristic black lines of marble, though it also changed the background to marble. Flux's version is also a great marble statue, but kept the background realistic and colored, which is an interesting choice. Nano Banana's generation is very similar to Flux's, isolating the statue from the background. Sea Dream's result is also great and looks perhaps the most like a carved statue, but you can still see a hint of red from her dress. I won't pick a winner here. They all produced unique and impressive variations. Following that, let's try to make this image look like it's made of gold. Quinn's attempt looks more like a person painted in gold, as you can still see her skin and hair. Flux's generation is very similar, still giving the impression of gold paint rather than a solid statue. 
Nano Bananas' result, however, is quite impressive. It looks much more like a real golden statue because it turned her hair into gold as well. Sea Dream's image wasn't very good. It only applied the effect to her lower body and missed her face and hair. For this round, Nano Banana looks the best. For this next test, I wanted to see how well the models could handle product mockups. I uploaded my AI Quest logo and gave them the prompt, realistically place the logo on the center of a coffee cup, matching the item's lighting and curvature. Quinn's result is pretty impressive. It put the logo on a nice disposable style coffee cup with a full purple wrap and it looks great. Flux Context Generation is also perfect in Jaboris. It's a normal ceramic mug and the logo is pasted on beautifully, perfectly matching the cup's curve. Nano Banana also gave an impressive result, putting the logo on a normal cup that it colored purple to match. It also looks great. Sea Dream's version was a bit of a failure. The cup looks like a weird hybrid of a disposable and a ceramic mug, and the logo looks poorly pasted on instead of being properly integrated. Overall, Quen, Flux, and Nano Banana all did a fantastic job here, while Sea Dream was the only one that couldn't handle it. Now for a text editing test. I uploaded an image of a neon sign that says good vibes only, and prompted change the word good to bad and vibes to sides. Quen handled this perfectly, changing the text to bad sides only on the first try. Flux context failed, generating side sides only. Nano Manana, which has failed this in the past, got it perfectly right this time. Sea Dream was mostly correct, though it used a lowercase b in bad. So apart from Flux, the other three models did a great job here. For the final test, I'm using an image of a pineapple and two apples. The prompt is, remove the outer spiky skin and leafy crown from this pineapple, showing the peeled yellow fruit ready to be cut. Quen's result removed the crown, but gave the pineapple a strange, shiny texture like a melon, which isn't right. Flux kept one apple, replaced the other with a pineapple slice, and only cut the crown off the main pineapple without peeling it. Nano Banana, however, produced a very good generation, showing the two apples next to a perfectly peeled pineapple with the crown removed. Sea Dream's generation was also good, with the right texture, but it forgot to remove the crown. So, after all of that, my final thoughts are that this new version of Quen Image Edit is incredibly impressive. For an open source model to compete this fiercely with massive, well funded closed source models and even win in several head to head tests is just remarkable. The era of open source is truly upon us. What do y'all think? Let me know your opinions in the comments below. Don't forget to like and share, and I'll see you in the next one.